Uh, um, <laughs> it's probably the best way of starting it, but look, Andrea, I just asked right here in Cardiff Bay, as you say, I'm just a stone's throw from the studio. Um, a little bit of uh, blue sky there over Panath Marina as well, but what I won't show you because it's kind of the other side is all the grey clouds that are already gathering because low pressure is dominating our weather story. Now, if you cast your minds back to just 72 hours the weekend, um, we were basking in the glow of temperatures of up to 25 degrees. The sun was shining. We were all excited. We were having barbecues. I was out and about in shorts and t-shirt. The brave few are actually wearing shorts and t-shirts here in Cardiff Bay at the moment, but look as if they're regretting it and it's playing havoc with the wardrobe choices. The coats are firmly staying on for this weather, I can promise you. So as I said, yeah, low pressure is in the driving seat. That ain't good because it does mean unsettled weather over the next few days. And I'm sorry to say that there is no sign of things settling down anytime soon, although it is going to be a case of catch any blue sky if you are lucky enough to see it. Let's have a look at that forecast in a little more detail. So yeah, unsettled weather for the next few days. I'm gonna come and head back into studio now, Andrea, and try and dry the hair off and sort myself out. Gotta love the weather at this time of the year, haven't you? Go and well, as I said, low pressure very much dominates our weather story at the moment. And as we play the sequence through, you can see it spins frontal system one after another after another in our direction. Having said that, it's not going to be a washout. So if you remember the rain that we had yesterday, the absolute deluge, it's not going to be quite as bad as that, but it's certainly not going to be particularly pleasant. So coming back then to the picture out here at the moment, the wind, as you can probably see from the weather hair, is already picking up. And we have got a few showers just nudging into far northern areas. Nothing too much to worry about. For the rest of Wales, it's going to be a calm and quiet night. We could see some clear skies developing. The cloud possibly, though, lingering across the far north over the hills and mountains. Temperatures hovering between 10 and around 13 in Celsius, which is generally mild, although I have still got a coat on. It's my age. I always feel the cold. So it is for some going to be quite a grey and murky start to tomorrow morning and again we've got a sliver of wet weather that will sort of edge its way into northern coastal areas but much like today it's going to be very very hit and miss because actually there will be plenty of dry weather as the day progresses and some really decent spells of sunshine and actually the sun just about putting in an appearance hooray uh, temperatures tomorrow if you do catch that blue sky and sunshine are going to feel generally fine i wouldn't rule out the possibility of touching 19 or 20 in celsius so it's going to be a case of warm rain but again don't get caught out because the sunshine is building strength so we do have high levels of uv and that's despite the cloud the showers and and the strong breeze. It will be cold then through Wednesday night under clear skies and by the time we wake to Thursday it's a mixture of sunshine and showers all over again. There's just no other way of describing it really. The showers will rattle through quite quickly, catch the sunshine and it'll feel pretty pleasant to highs yet again of 20 Celsius. And there's just no change in your outlook period either. More sunshine, more showers, plenty of both with the temperatures remaining generally on the mild side. Well, let's look at this as positively as we possibly can. If you are suffering with hay fever at the moment, generally not too much to worry about. We're in between the grass pollen season and the tree pollen season with generally low levels over the next couple of days.